Hi dear Oduers, welcome to the next video of this Odoo Studio tutorial series. In this video, we're going to build our app from scratch, tailor-made for a company Sherlock Holmes. Why start from scratch when Odoo already has over 60 apps, 1500 models and countless connections between them, you ask? Well, you see, our needs are as unique as the properties we manage and we need to collect very specific information. So let's get started on building the custom real estate app that will meet all of our business needs. Let's jump into our database and to create a new app, I will open Studio and click on the new app icon here. You can go right away on the next step and this is where you need to choose the name for your future app. Since our business, Sherlock Holmes, is a real estate company, that's what I will be calling my app. So, real estate. On the right, you can either design your icon by selecting the colors and an icon or if you have one, you can choose to upload your own, which is what I will do here. Our app is called Real Estate, but we also need to choose what our model will be called. This one app can contain multiple models, just like the sales app, as quotations, product templates, price lists, and so on. Here, we will create a model for different properties. So I will name it Properties and leave the selection on the new model. On the next step, we can choose the main features we want for the properties model. The chatter, custom sorting and archiving are selected by default and it usually doesn't hurt to keep them. What other features should we add, Audrey? I use the project app and I would like the same features, mainly Kanban stages and assigning employees. Of course, then let's select pipeline stages and user assignment. Is anything else missing from the app? It would be nice to display a picture of the property and its value. Sure, let's select then picture and monetary value here. Oh, and the owner's contact details would also be useful. I will actually add them manually later to show you a bit more how we can create relational fields. So let's skip that for now and finally create your app. And voila! We have created our app and as you can see a few elements were already automatically added to our new model thanks to the suggested features we selected. One quick note about access control. When you create a new model, Odoo will create two different access control lists for you. One for administrators who have all access rights and one for internal users who have all rights except the ability to delete records. If you want to learn more about access control, be sure to check out our online documentation. All right, let's close Studio and see what it looks like. We have the Kanban stage, the picture field, a responsible, the value field we added, and also the chatter on the right. We can select the properties menu, and there we already have several views available by default. Looking great, isn't it? And if we go back to our home menu, we can also see that our real estate app is displayed right here. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Back to you in the studio.